by. I will tell you something. I obeyed God. I said, okay, Lord, I will wait for you. Whenever it is time. And the one that you know will fit, not my present today, but the future that you are planning for me, I'm waiting, oh God. So I dispensed with that. And I was wondering, up to the time, because she was so nice. She looked everywhere spiritual. One day God said, I've told you that she's a thing of the earth. And whatever is of the earth is earthy. That which is heavenly is the one that comes from heaven. It was so surprising to me <clears throat> that not many years after, this sister disappeared from the radar of Christian fellowship. I looked for her everywhere. Where is she? I couldn't find. She's gone into the world. She had married all kinds of marriages. She changed all that I was looking at that and that I thought was something has disappeared. And unfortunately, I never saw her for many years. The day I will see her it was not more than two or three or four years ago I was preaching like this the crowd was much the whole place was filled and I don't know how as I was preaching my eyes went and located this person in the congregation but ah, I wasn't sure I've not seen her for 20 something years more than that I said, could she be? Could she be? But as a preacher, I dare not interrupt the word of God that I'm preaching. Otherwise, I will have called her out. I said, are you there? But on that day, I finished my message. I had preached about a wasted life. A wasted encounter. A man that had walked out of the purpose of God. When I gave the altar call, just as you saw God doing something I missed yesterday, that's how people were coming in tears. And I saw this person rolling in tears. I was too eager to know what she was weeping about. And because I was not supposed to do counseling, the counselors have taken over. So I went and sat in the car to be carried to where I'm going to sleep. And then one of the counselors said, There is someone who said he must see you. I said, hey. Say, you were together on campus. You used to be her leader in village evangelism. You used to go from village to village to preach. She is desperate. She must talk to you tonight. Otherwise, she will not go from here. As they were describing, I remember it. I said, bring her. By the time she came, you know what she said? She said, brother, good I have missed it. Nothing has worked for me. I went away from the Lord. I married that useless man. He beats me. Everything scattered. I have no child. I have no business. I have no home. I have no husband. Can God do anything with my carcass? While she was crying, I was also crying. I wept. But you will not know that my weeping is on two levels. <laughs> two levels. <laughs> I'm 
was weeping for her. But the second level of my tears was the oh God, what a dungeon I would have entered. I would have become a shadow of what I was meant to be. I would have become history in my lifetime. With tears, I say, Oh God, thy will be done. Thy will be done. Up to tomorrow, I can never stop singing that song. Any man that will live to fulfill a divine purpose, that song will be your anthem. Even when you don't know what it means. If thou should cause me to resign What I prize most And I want to keep But I let go For your will Thy will When you know how to say At every time of your life Thy will, O Lord, be done. Glorify yourself at my expense. Oh, how much I say to God then. Father, don't mind my tears. There is nobody who became anything that does not shed tears. Lord, don't consider my tears. Let your will be done. Even if I don't understand now, Lord, let your will be done. Why? Because I am one of the called. When you are one of the called, God is meticulous about your life. God is concerned about your steps. God is deliberate about where you go. And God is very mindful of everything that is happening to you. When I got back to the room that night and I knelt down, I said, Lord, so you saw the end from the beginning. I only saw a wonderful sister. So you saw that something else is there that I did not see. Lord, continue to see for me. Lord, let me not depend on my eyes. Please, Lord, let your eye become my eyes. Do you want to live with a purpose? Do you intend to fulfill your purpose in your lifetime? You must never forget that you are one of the Lord.